Here at AI Protopia, we're often seen as futurists, sometimes accused of prioritising AI advancement regardless of the consequences. However, we do have our limits. We believe we've found the line. In this instance, it has not only been crossed but leapt over. Virtual prison sentencing through AI. Welcome to Cognify, a facility designed to treat criminals like patients. Instead of spending years in an actual prison cell, prisoners could finish their sentence here in just a few minutes. Cognify could someday create and implant artificial memories directly into the prisoner's brain. These complex, vivid, and lifelike memories are created in real time using AI-generated content. Depending on the seriousness of the subject's crime and their sentence, the memories could be tailored to the rehabilitation needs of each subject. The artificial memories implanted by Cognify would be seamlessly incorporated into the existing neural networks of the brain, preventing cognitive dissonance and ensuring the subject experiences the memories as if they were real. The Cognify concept offers a new approach to criminal rehabilitation, transforming how society deals with offenders by focusing on rehabilitation rather than punishment. First, the prisoner is given a choice, either spending tens of years in a prison cell or seeking fast-track rehabilitation through artificial memory implantation. If the prisoner chooses to undergo fast-track rehabilitation, the Cognify device is used. Next, the prisoner undergoes high-resolution brain scanning to create a detailed map of their neural pathways. This brain map helps guide the Cognify device to target specific brain regions responsible for memory, reasoning, and logical thinking, such as the hippocampus, prefrontal cortex, amygdala, parietal lobe, and anterior cingulate cortex. Once the target brain regions are identified, Cognify is then placed around the head of the prisoner. The intensity and the type of artificial memories is then adjusted depending on the crime. Inside the criminal's mind, time would pass differently, slower than in real life, making them experience years' worth of artificial memories in just a few minutes. Synthetic memories are customized depending on the crime committed and the unique brain structure and psychological profile of the individual. Violent offenders could experience memories that are designed to trigger empathy and remorse, seeing their crime from the perspective of their victim, feeling their pain and suffering firsthand. Some memories are designed to trigger consequences and trauma. Such memories could simulate the long-term consequences of violent actions, such as the grief of the victim's family or the physical and emotional trauma endured by the victim. Artificial memories could cover a wide range of crimes, including domestic violence, hate crimes and discrimination, embezzlement, insider trading, theft and fraud. Cognify Emotion Regulation System could modulate neurotransmitters and hormones to induce specific emotional states, such as remorse or regret, which is crucial for rehabilitation. Real-time monitoring and feedback mechanisms could track the prisoner's neural responses throughout the process, allowing the system to adapt and optimize the rehabilitation in real time with new visuals, sensation, and realistic AI-generated content. To ensure the long-term effect of the therapy session, the memories could become permanent, fully integrated into the subject's mind, as if they were part of their own personal experiences. I'm going to stop this right here. I don't even know where to begin with the sheer absurdity of this concept. It's an incredibly bad idea that ignores the complexities of human behaviour and the justice system. This isn't just a step too far, it's a leap into an ethical quagmire. Now that is strictly our opinion. One thing is for sure, as this tech continues to advance, I think we will be seeing more ideas like this one, and each one of us will have to make up their own mind. When does AI go too far? Thanks for watching, your support means everything to us. Please hit that like button, and if you have not already, please subscribe. See you next time.